Din Djarin's helmet from the Disney Plus series The Mandalorian. So far, and uh, basically I used cereal box cardboard, I made a ring, and then I crossed it over to make the dome shape, and then I covered it with duct tape to smoothen it out. Then here, you can see me adding paper mache, and um, I'm using uh, some newspaper for the paper mache, and I just did basic paper mache mix, and then, uh, yeah, so you can do this with your hands, but I used the brush on this one. I, I used a combination of my hands and the brush. I found that the brush was a little bit easier to use. Um, you can use the your hands, but... It, yeah, it's, it makes your hands a little sticky. It's yeah, it's not great. But I, if you want to make one yourself or want to do a paper mache on a dome or anything like this, I would suggest using a brush because it's just a lot easier. So yeah, and uh, so that you see me doing right now. After I applied most of the paper mache, and um, I go in and then I kind of use some of my, I sometimes use my hands to like smooth it out my best as I can because I want to get all the bumps I can because I am going to put spackle over it though, but still I want to get as much as I can and smooth it as much as I can on the first layer um, of paper mache. So this is the basic shape of the front piece of the Mandalorian helmet. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm using a hot glue gun to glue the pieces uh, onto the side cheek. So I cut out the template and then I just put them in like together. With, it's the same template I used for my last Mandalorian helmet, but I adjusted it a little bit and I made the visor and everything a little bit smaller so it just looked better and fit better together. the cheek pieces because what I did is I held them together with some packing tape and now I'm putting hot glue on the back to glue them on there so it'll be extra reinforced. So in the photo I'm about to show you, you will see what the helmet looks like right here. I added the dome and I added a back Alright, so these are the templates for the side pieces right here. And then I'm going to cut these out. And then for two, we're going to be using two materials. Cereal box cardboard because it's thinner. And also just normal cardboard right here. So you can see obviously this is thicker than this one right here. So yeah. So I'm going to be using these two things. And then, uh, yeah. So you'll see me do right now. So this is the templates I need for the side pieces. All cut out. 
for the beginning of the side piece I doubled up of cardboard and right here I'm just showing you how it, it will go together and how it will look. To um, put the uh, pieces, the two pieces together because it's just a little bit easier to do that. So then I'll be able to hold that together and then I'll add glue. You'll see me add hot glue right here and then I'll put them together and I'll just be able to put them right together so now that it's being held by duct tape and hot glue at the same time and uh, so that was just found out to be the easiest way to do it and then I used masking tape and I wrapped it in masking tape Right here I'm using the hot glue gun and I am taking the cereal box and the normal cardboard and I'm just building on top of the uh, side piece. And then this is what the side piece looks like. So I finished this piece, this is like the glue piece that will go on the back of this thing. I'll show you when I glue it on. But then, and then I just made this piece. I cut it out of cardboard. I'll show it right here. Yeah, I cut it out of cardboard and then I uh, cut like a seam. I didn't cut it all the way through. You can see if I flex it, yeah, right there. That it has a seam, so when it gets painted, it looks like it's like a indent or something like that. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. And this is what the helmet looks like now. Let me see, there it is. Got the dome all sanded. It's very smooth, spackled, and all that. This is like, and then this is a masking tape right here. And then I did the side pieces, which is over here. These are the side pieces. I'll show you how they go on. They will go on basically like this. They'll go right there. And then it'll look like that. So, yeah, so I, I, I kind So shake up the spray paint can. And this is the setup we have here with the helmet on the um, PVC pipe and that's what, how we're going to paint it. So we have a little bit of a problem here while painting it. You can that's what it looks like. I'm gonna try to see if you can can you see a like little glob thingies on the paint? That is the can is not working. Brand new paint can. Uh not working. I'll just show you it up more up close. See all those glob things are like dripping? You can especially see right here. We start painting it and it just wasn't painting, it was just uh, like spitting almost. So, yeah, it looks like we gotta get a new can and uh, maybe sand some of these glob stuff. So, yeah, and so this is not gonna work out. So, we gotta buy another can. Great, uh, so this is where I am at now.
yeah so the whole and the helmet this is the I guess almost finished so yeah happy in a way that it did that because um, I realized I actually forgot to put on some pieces for the helmet like this piece I'm about to cut out this is like a top piece that goes over the like front like visor thing it's like a I don't know it's like an extra lip on the top of it it's, yeah I don't know I don't know exactly how to describe it but it's I actually forgot to put this on there and I also uh, forgot to do a little bit more to it so I'm actually happy that happened so that's what I'm doing cutting that out right now so I put this little strip on right here I used some tacky glue and I used some just basic hot glue I would what I did is right here I put the hot glue right here and then I put another little piece right here and I used tacky glue to hold this piece for the rest of that and then, so it's nice and thin it stays down this is like a stronger Elmer's glue right here tacky glue so yeah and uh, I glued the side pieces on that I did I used just hot glue for that and uh, it's holding on pretty good I think it's on there good, and then so that's it. So now, take two. We got a new spray paint can, and this color I, I want to show you. It's dark steel. Let me get the focus. Uh, yeah, dark steel. So this is the color. This is what it looks like. We already did a trial thing that didn't kind of work, but that's what the color looks like. It's yeah. So. That's uh, the color, and then we're gonna go outside and spray it. Hopefully, this is this one works. Yeah, I just hit the glue gun over, but hopefully that works, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll see you outside. So same setup as last time, and hopefully this can will work. So you can see there, we have a thing in the ground which has to pull up there, and we're ready to paint the helmet. I guess attempt two. So. We'll see. How is it? Good. 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 It's going the wrong direction, though. Huh? You know? Yeah. I think it's going that way. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's got the smell. See, it's going towards the car. Should I put a fan or something? Uh. So now we're moving spots of the helmet because the, we have a car in the garage and the paint is going towards the car. So we're going to move the setup and you're still going to see us paint the helmet. very good with its color and uh, so we're just getting into all the cracks and grooves of the helmet and uh, yeah so we're just thoroughly spray painting it and thank you to my dad for doing the spray paint and uh, yeah so it's not that I don't want to spray paint it's just yeah I just choose not to because my dad is a lot better at it so than I am so thank you so much to my dad for helping me with this But at least it's coming out better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just exchanged it uh, with the other one. We gave the woman the other one, and we and she gave us the one. Yeah. Now we're gonna leave it on the pole to dry.
as you can see right here, this is the sewing and of me of what I did for the black fabric inside the helmet. And this is the plastic I'm going to use for the visor. And it comes in a pack of two, so I have an extra one if I need it. So then I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to cut up the plastic to make the visor. Now I'm going to open up the pack of Sharpies. black sharpie and I'm coloring in the clear plastic to make the visor black and when you use the sharpie onto the plastic you can still see through it because sharpie is actually clear I use the same technique when I made my Edith glasses but I used blue for that in that case but here I'm using black and black actually you can see through it pretty well and uh, yeah so that's what I'm gonna do for my visor and this is the same technique I used for my other Mandalorian helmet and the same way I did it. So I liked it the way I did last time, so I'm doing it the same way. And I'm using a bigger Sharpie because it's just a lot faster and it'd be a lot easier because you get more uh, length with this bigger one than the smaller one would. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Now, this is the shape of the visor, and we'll glue it in. And this is what the helmet looks like all finished. And here's a, a few photos of the helmet. This is the way. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. So this is the finished Mandalorian helmet, and this is what it looks like. And uh, yeah, I'm really proud of it. And uh, so yeah, basically I've got the say right here if you I can lift this up if you can kind of see right right along here is the lip where I cut a slit down the middle because and I cut in between the layers of the helmet and then I put the visor in it and then I just glue these two sides right here onto the black piece right here and then for the inside if you can see I lined it completely with um uh, black electrical tape and then I added the fabric pieces that I made this is the back one the long one and then this is the inside side cheek and then the same thing on that side and then I'll give you a view of the inside and you can kind of see through if it doesn't show up on camera that well but yeah it's that's how it is, and it, in reality, you can actually see really good in person, but on the camera, it just doesn't come up that well. But yeah, it looks really good. I'm really proud of it, and uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video of me making this, and uh, so yeah, I'm excited to, uh, I'm really excited to make this, so I'm happy, I hope you guys like it, 
because I didn't really like my old one that much. And uh, so this one, I'm happy. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, please like and subscribe um, on Cardboard Pops. I'll see you next time. Bye.